In this video I'm going to talk to you about how to write numbers in words. So here are some, some numbers written using digits and uh, I'm going to show you how to write them using words um, and also how to do the reverse of that. So if I give you some numbers written in words, how to write them using digits. So let's take a look at this first example. We have to write this number using words. And the nice thing about our number system is that we tend to chunk these large numbers into smaller bits with commas in between them. And the commas tell you where to put certain words when you're writing it out. So if we look at this first bit here, it says that's like a 428. You can almost ignore that bit. 428. And then this bit here is a 604. And what I'm going to show you is how to combine those two numbers, 428 with 604. And we're going to put another word in there, where that comma is, to indicate um, the total size of this number. So let's have a look at how this works. Um, the first rule I think you should probably know is that if you work backwards from the end of the number, the first comma that you come to stands for thousand, the word thousand. So what we are going to write is this first bit, 428, then we're going to write the word thousand, and then we're going to write this second bit, 604. So it goes like this. 428 okay that's the first part then I have to insert this word thousand and then I can just simply add on this number at the end here 604 Okay, and I'm just going to underline that word thousand because that's really the crucial thing that you have to be able to do. You have to be able to spot that that comma um, is indicating to you where the thousands are. 428,604. If we try this next one using the same rule, so working from the end of the number here, the first comma you get to is where we write the word thousand. So this is, if you look here, 24 then the comma which tells us to write the word thousand and then this bit here, 193 24,193. If we look at this example, this one's slightly more difficult because there's this zeros appearing and, and that does put a lot of people off, so I just thought I'd show you this one. Same rule again, working from the end of the number, the first comma that you get to is for the thousands. So let's look at this number here. This is 104 and then thousand, and then this number here. Well, the zero means there are no hundreds in this number. So this is really, this bit here really just represents 28. So we're not even going to write zero hundred. Don't bother writing that, just write 28. So once again, we'll just highlight this technique. Just look at the first three digits there, 104, write it down. Then put this word thousand because of the comma. And then this last bit here, which remember we don't write the hundreds, that's just a 28. Right, 
the last one that I'm going to do like this is actually a lot bigger this number um, and if you work from the end of the number we get to this first comma which stands for the word thousand but we also have got a second comma here and this one if you come to a second comma will stand for the word million So this is a really large number, 3,628,241 and then 241. Okay, so just notice that I've underlined these two words here. The first comma represents million, the second column, uh, comma represents the word thousand. So now we have to try and reverse that a little bit, and I'm going to give you some words and ask you to write down the number. So the way to do this is to look out, actively seek those key words that I underlined in the first example, that thousand, and that's going to be a comma in our number. So we look at the two numbers either side, 43, write that down, 807, write that down, and then simply put a comma in between. So if you can identify the word thousand in your number, that's a really key part of being able to write it down correctly. Let's look at this one. This one says 206,506. So again, we have to write down 206. And then look to the right-hand side. So ignore the 1,000 for the moment. 506, like that. And all the 1,000 is doing is telling us to put a comma in between. So our number is 206,506.